That song is called Going With The Rip Currents. It's the first song on the album. And this next one is called Simmer. This song is about people making bad decisions and how you should prevent that. Well, not how you should, just that you should acknowledge it and maybe do something about it. Anyway. <coughs>
Facebook.com slash chill with beverage. Thank you.
I should have caught that one inside. But I shrugged it off. I said it was fine. Then she hit me with a stupid lie. I got lucky this time. I'm so glad she ain't mine.
some Healy Harmonica with me. Next song. It's called Mind's Eye. As in Mind's Eye.
When I lay down at night, I can't get no sleep. So I turn on the radio. But the only thing I hear is a whisper in my ear. Words that she used to say. My days keep getting longer. My love keeps growing stronger. The fever gets stronger every day. Got the fever for a girl. Got the fever.
if God was on the radio, I know he'd say to me, I've built spiders on the edge and hanging by a thread connected to the other end of this twisted frequency I've spun but I don't care I feel happy if you share your web with me so come on come on and say so come on Come on and say so. Come on, come on and say so. Come on, come on and say I want you. I want you. Why don't you come on, come on and say so? Come on, come on and say so. Come on, come on and say so. Come on, come on, and say so. <laughs>
wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Cops in cars, the top of their bars, never saw a woman. So So I wrote a poem about a high-level kidnapping. Six-year-old kidnapper, napping. Privileged in Napa, wearing nappies, getting napped by a stranger danger. I saw that Lego movie a long time ago, uh, and I noticed that the Lego pills I mean, the Legos, they look like pills. They were all shaped, the characters were all shaped like pills. Like they were trying to acclimate the kids to just taking pills or something. The Lego people had pills, they look like pills with eyes. They were, the, the pills have eyes. <laughs> all right, this is what I've been sad about for the last few weeks. Um, I just realized, like, my mom used to tell me this narrative when I was a child. And then not only did she tell me, she told my sister, my kids, her kids, everybody's kids. And it, I, it was like something I just didn't think too much of. She said, when I'm older and when my sister was born, when I was a year and a half, every time she cried, I would barf. But then she added, because you were jealous. And so my whole life, I believed that until I went to this healer and she goes, no, you weren't barfing because you were jealous, you were barfing because you were trying to process the poison, because you loved your sister so much, you were trying to process the poison in the family. 
So I, I switched my viewpoint about that, but nobody else in the family did, and they all believed this stupid narrative my mom used to say, and I see the pattern dominoes because she used to be jealous of her sister and she admitted it, and then she would always say I was jealous of my sister, which she totally invented, but then I saw the pattern clearly when she had these two litter maid cats, and she goes, oh, they don't get along, they're jealous of each other, and then I was looking at pictures after she died, and the cats totally got along. So I'm like, oh my god, I see three generations of narrative that I live that have affected my life and how everyone sees me and how I see myself in relationships. So sad, I'll try to end with one more joke. <laughs> okay, I've been accused of when I argue, of arguing in circles, which I don't see a problem with. I, I start at the point where I'm right, and then I hit other points in the circle where I'm right, kind of like a dream catcher. Then I come back to the original point where I'm right again. <laughs> but for the sake of some kind of relationship, or to be like, you know, I'll try different ways of arguing. So now my arguments take like a more meandering path toward whiskey and crying. <laughs> All right, that's, we're gonna get everybody up here. Okay, one last joke. I, I'm old now, and I feel like I need hormone therapy, but listening to my poor neighbor moaning on Sunday morning from having a loud sex isn't the kind of hormone therapy I was thinking that I needed. All right. <laughs>
I'm gonna play uh, uh, Make a Change by Nako and Medicine for People. In the 
struggle. These are songs of a walk towards revival. Even Raymond could put down the rifle. I got my orders and I'ma follow them. You can't find me, you can't back inside the lion's den. Making friends and amends with some evil men. I'm gonna bring them and inject them with that medicine. I'm gonna do no harm, but I'ma take no shit. I'm gonna do no harm, but I'ma take no shit. I'm gonna do no harm, but I'ma take no shit. I'm gonna build a bridge out of this emptiness. And potentially, I'm gonna live to be the hardest.